I would now like to give the floor to Professor Kotler. And Professor Kotler, you've served on the OAS panel, as mentioned, on Venezuela, made reference to the ICC. Uh, I'd like to get any of your comments on what's been said, but also your sense of where the international community is after the conclusions that you came to. And, and uh, I'd be happy to get your input. Thank you. Well, on, on one of the questions you put about the contact group, whether enough is being done by them, and it is that not enough has been done. Regrettably, Venezuela has fallen off the international radar screen. What we need at this point, and we don't have, is a sense of moral urgency and a sense of the political, the necessity of the political will to act, to act against what uh, Diego has called a narco criminal tyrannical Maduro regime. We don't yet have, as I said, that sense of urgency and that compelability to act that is so necessary, and the contact group has to assume that. Secondly, you mentioned the issue of universal jurisdiction. I believe that states that have that authority should exercise it. And in fact, we, our Rao Wallenberg Center has entered into a partnership with the Global Accountability Initiative headed up by Professor David Crane. They initiated such accountability initiatives with regard to Yemen and Syria. We need this kind of accountability initiative with regard to Venezuela and universal jurisdiction as a part of it. Number three, to invoke the panoply of legal remedies that are available and that need to be exercised. You mentioned the ICC. Frankly, it's shocking that the ICC has yet to open an investigation of what is a state party to the ICC after there has been a collective referral by seven state parties to the ICC, yet the ICC was prepared to open an investigation in countries which are not state parties uh, to the ICC and where the question of jurisdiction was itself questionable. Here the question of jurisdiction has been acknowledged really by the Maduro regime itself. And you've got, as I said, a collective referral. So there are no issues here and the urgency that is warranted is what should be of the first order now for the ICC. Other references on legal remedies, the ICJ complaint that's been mentioned, universal jurisdiction that I mentioned, the United Nations special procedures and special remedies. And as I said, sometimes you need a individual case as a looking glass. And the case of Justice Marie Lourdes Afuni, her persecution and prosecution for over 10 years now, her torture in detention is a looking glass into the state orchestrated assault on the rule of law and the independence of the judiciary in Maduro's Venezuela. And, and finally, we have to continuously, and you know, the testimony that I heard today from my fellow panelists is a thing that moves me and pains me the most, that we have to continuously unmask and expose the state orchestrated humanitarian suffering, a humanitarian suffering of a scale and a scope and a severity that is not only a threat, a threat to the individuals and to uh, the people of Venezuela, but frankly is a threat to the peace and security of the international community. And so I end where I begin. We need a sense of moral urgency and we need the political will to act.